life, sex, goals, and oh, hell no, this is Midlife Craving. All right, press and record. Okay, and I have to remember to call you hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> it's so go. weird that it's your fucking name. <laughs> that was such an odd and yet appropriate. Our first, you know what? Our first co- couple of conversations, like that's, I was, it was just so refreshing and so nice. I was like, you know what? He's a cool dude. Like we were sending back, what, back and forth gifts or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I can fuck with him. He's cool, laid back. You know what I mean? It's fastest way to a woman's heart is memes. <laughs> That's that's just facts now. <laughs> that's just facts. All right. All right. So this is kind of an audible. I was not planning on starting an episode or doing an episode like this. I'm I'm trying to even think how I'm going to introduce this. You know what? Don't, that's just, that's don't just ask go with me. It. I'm not famous at all. Right. I'm not famous. Well, you're kind of famous. No, you have like a few. You have a lot of people that know you. But I have people small. that are related okay, to I'm me. A, I'm a Z-lister. And a couple people off Bumble that recognize me. That's <laughs> it. Bumble. <laughs> And I'm on oh. that, uh, what's that Facebook group? Um, what Facebook Are we group? dating the same guy? Is there one for girls? It's called, yeah, are we dating the same guy? No, but are you, are you, oh, somebody posted you on there? I think so. What? Well, look, Cause I'm I on there. definitely had someone ask me for a photo. And like, hey, can you send me a selfie real quick? And I was like, why? And they're like, just do it. Hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty it sure. Is. And they were talking about that group or whatever. So I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's fine. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm on the Baltimore, D.C. and like Columbia, Maryland one. Yeah. You're, I don't know. I'll look you up. Oh, I mean, I'm not worried about it. I would stick up for you on there. I was going to say, I'm not worried about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to introduce the show. Like, are we just going to come in hot? We're just going to come in here I, again. Don't I? Yeah. Just fucking just run it. <laughs> All right. Well, hot dog. I just want to say. Thank you for doing this with me, and welcome back to the show. <laughs> Today we're going to play uh, a little Would You Rather. Okay. okay? okay. My yep. Cravers had a lot of questions that they gave me over on Instagram. And then we're going to have a little Q&A sesh. And lastly, we're going to play my sex match game. But this is a PG-13 version. My okay. rated R one we have to play some time, but that's going to okay. be off the I've mic. never played either, so... Are you excited? Yeah. You should be. Absolutely. And then after all of this, everything that we do, we're going to go fuck in my sex swing. All right. I'm more of a fan of that one than the other two, but that's fine. That's... <laughs> the first two are also okay. But what? <laughs> Playing the sex game? The sex swing sounds the best. Oh, yeah. Of course. But yeah. That's the reward for the, all the work you're about to put in. Okay. That's, okay. Okay. So I get to put in work after putting in work. Okay. Yeah, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. The sex swing is really not a lot of work. It's actually, it's, yeah, you'll like it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, you can That's give fair. it. You can give her a review afterwards. I'll give it the old college try. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> it's gonna be good. All right, so let's just jump right into this. I do want to say too, like it's so good to see you. It's been a while, and the last time I saw you, I was what like a month out of recovering from my hysterectomy, yeah, and we couldn't fuck like and all that stuff. So, um, I'm looking forward to fucking you. It's gonna be fun. Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's play would you rather okay you have you ever played before have you, are you a first timer i've played with um like seven year olds so i don't know if that really counts because oh, no. it was like would you rather eat lasagna or okay. hot dogs and i was like uh i don't know lasagna okay <laughs> so i don't know if that really counts all right this is gonna be very different okay so would you rather give or receive oral i'm gonna play two i'm gonna chime in um I guess give because I'm selfish. So give really? Oh, I'm definitely. I would rather receive. I'm a giver too, but bitch, I'm. If I had to pick one, I'm gonna pick receiving. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess a lot depends on the person too. Because hmm. okay. to me, it's like if you're like kind of emotionally involved with someone, probably mm-hmm. giving. But if it's like a random hookup or just like a thing, then mm-hmm. probably receive because you're like, yeah, I'm just here to have a good time. Okay, that's fair. Okay, okay. Would you rather a twosome? Or a threesome. Again, what are we talking? We're talking about two dudes, two girls, two girls. We'll say two girls. Obviously, the threesome. Yeah, Yeah. come on, slam dunk. That's an easy one. Yeah, I agree. A threesome is always better. There is something about that one-on-one connection, though. You know, but okay. Would you rather come on my face, on my tits, or inside me? Obviously, the last one inside. That's (laughs) just again. (laughs) Why do you think I have so many kids? Because that's my favorite. Why? You think that was just spontaneous? <laughs> like, what do you think? 
Um, if I were going to answer that, I would say my face is my really? favorite. Mm-hmm. That's, I feel Have like... you ever come on my face before? No. I, I swallowed f- last time, if I recall. Yes. Yeah. I feel like most women <laughs> prefer inside, too. Maybe that's just no, the No, I'm I definitely know. a facial girl. Hmm. Have you not given me a facial yet? I have not. Oh, man. We'll have to do that. I guess I've been slacking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you rather eat ass or suck toes? I've never done either. Hmm. So like, you don't know. Do you, would you like to try? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I Okay. Why not? You know? Sure. Okay. Uh, somebody asked that and I was thinking, God, what would I prefer? Eating ass any day. Yeah. But I do like having my toes sucked. Uh, I dated a guy with a foot fetish and it was amazing when I was in graduate school. I always it was amazing. wonder like, how that came about. Yeah, I know. I would like jerk him off with my feet and he would suck my toes. He would give me, oh my God, foot massages constantly. It was great. Could you imagine like the 300 years ago when you met your husband the first time you got married and he's into that? Yeah. And you're like, never heard of that in your life. And you're like, (laughs) he's like, I want you to put your feet on me. You think, what the hell? Yeah, I don't understand (laughs) that either. I'm not judging it though. I really enjoy it. It is what it is, but I'm just going to imagine the first time you meet someone and you're married now and then like, put your feet on me, babe. (laughs) Wait a fucking minute. What does that mean? (laughs) <laughs> oh my god one of my friends he said this girl was like i'm gonna jerk you off in my armpit and he's like what so he stood behind her and she like put his cock between like her arm he was like, she was like moving her arms and like jerking him off in her armpit how that's do you discover People, you I, like I, that? I don't know i how don't do you, know yeah that's what i'm saying like how do you even know that you like that that's insane like how are you just walking into like the supermarket one day and you're like man my armpit itches you know, it'd be great. Yeah, if I had a, a penis cock in, in there. there. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I don't, how do you figure that out? No judgment. I just want to know how know. it came about. Same. Yeah. That would, yeah. Okay. Would you rather DVP, double vaginal penetration, or would you rather do uh, DP, like, fuck, but fuck, like, so that's a threesome. It's an MFM. Would you rather do, like, double penetration, like, um, one in the ass, one in the pussy? I've never done, I've never yeah. done threesome with two dudes. You, you mean with a guy and a girl? Yeah. You've only had two sorry. girls. Yeah. Okay. I love MFM. Do you want to? I've never done it. I don't know how. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd be nervous. Hmm. Because I've been around naked dudes like in the army showering, but that's yeah. quite a bit different. No, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that counts. I, I Okay, I'll answer this. I would prefer DVP. I've done. I love that. I had a super weird interaction with the dude. <laughs> Me, we were having a boys trip. I forget where we were. We're driving. There's like five of us in the car. We're driving. We're just like doing light chatting. Mm-hmm. And then it was so random. My buddy, I won't use his name, just kind of goes, I've always wanted to be a part of a train. And we were not talking sexual stuff at all. Hmm. We were just light chatting because hmm. we're in the like four hours of this road trip. Yeah. And then everyone just kind of like looked at him and just kind of silently judged. And he went, well, we, everyone would use condoms, obviously. We just went... <laughs> That's not, that's not the issue, brother. We, why did you just randomly say that? Yeah, we were we weren't talking about sex stuff at all. I and he ca- went, I ca- oh, sorry. And I'm just like, again, no judgment, brother. Yeah. I just, uh, <laughs> just it's obviously on your mind. <laughs> like we're talking about fucking Cheetos or Takis, and yeah. he's like, I really want to be part of a train. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I man? like him. Is he single? <laughs> he's not. He's married. Oh my god. So maybe they're into that. I would like to do a train too, honestly. A gangbang would definitely be a thing I would do. Okay. Oh, my God. To you, what's the difference between a gangbang and a train? But, you know, I was actually just thinking about that. I guess, a, to me, I feel like a train would be, I'm laying there, legs are, or I'd be, like, in my sex swing, and guys would be lined up waiting to, like, fuck me. Like, a few thrusts and then go back into the line. A few thrusts, go back into the line. Um, a gangbang is more, every guy fucks me till he finishes, and then next. Right? That's okay. what I would say. Thank you. A woman of culture. I appreciate it. I mean, that. that's what I would say. Yeah. Because, exactly. A train is one after the other. Yeah. Like a train. Right, right, right. And then a gangbang is just ha- everyone at once. I could do both anytime. Yeah. I was talking to this one girl. Oh. She's like, oh, there is no difference. And I'm like, there's a difference. No, there definitely is. That's why is. there's yeah, different yeah, yeah. words for yeah, it. Yeah. Agreed. That's how it works. So, oh, gangbang is on my fucking list. And I am a big fan of cream pies. And I'm an even bigger fan of like double cream pies and stuff. But the issue for me is obviously, you know, STIs. And I want to have safe sex. So, like, I don't know how I'd work that out. We'd all have to get tested. But then you can't stop. Like, like, there's certain things you have to, like, wait. You know what I mean? I don't know. It would be very risky. I don't know if I'll ever cross it off. But The World Gangbang Championships or whatever it was. Oh, no. 
It's mm. older. I watched the Russian gangbangs, though. Oh, I wish I was those girls. I saw something Delicious. on Reddit, and it was like the world champion is like 900 dudes in a day. Oh, yeah, I saw her. Yeah, she just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wild. But that to me is like they're dipping their dick and they're walking. That to me yeah. is a train. That's not a yeah. gangbang. A gangbang is like every guy's finishing. And no, like, I agree. Yeah. Oh, but speaking of like, again, not trying to judge people, mm-hmm. do what you want, but on Fet Life, there's a ton. I got on Fet Life okay. in the past few months. Just check it out. Mm-hmm. And I looked at the events. I've never been on there. <sighs> check out the events. It's honestly, like I said, no judgment, but it's a little bit weird. The amount of where it's like unprotected, just cream pie gangbangs. Uh, I'm not down for that. That are like. In this area, too, there's, like, so many that are, like, yeah, hotel no. in BWI. No. And you'll see, like, 30 RSVPs. And it'll be, like, just some girl, she's, like, yep, has to be unprotected, bareback, cream pie. Has to be. And it's, like. Yeah, that's not for me. Again, no judgment. I have a much different just, experience. Uh, no, I agree. I'm not judging, but that's not for me. It's just wild to me. Yeah, no, like no, no, no. you have no. 30 random dudes from the internet? Also, I am, it's funny because that, that's one of the things I always stress when people say, oh, oh you're in the lifestyle or oh, you're doing these, this, these things. I'm a very selective gal and I would, I have to have connection. I'm, I don't fuck just to fuck. Um, so that to me, but some people that's like their thing, yeah. right? Again, it's, yeah, it's, it's, fun. it's just one of those things that just seems dangerous. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I get tested every 90 days. I've, you know, I, I'm always very on the up and up when, the, when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. So that to me, it's paramount, right? Like, I don't want to deal with, you know. Anyways. Just, oh, yeah. All right. Next one. Okay. Would you rather have sex before or after a date? If you're, it's not a first hmm. date, but like if, if me and you had a date, would you want to fuck me before or after? Like, what's your preference? Hmm. I don't, probably after, I don't know. I don't um, think... before 100 percent. i feel like we're already fucking up this day because we haven't fucked yet <laughs> yeah i don't know i, I guess but this is the really build matter. up this is our foreplay by the way i was gonna say mm-hmm. to me it's kind of the i like the whole i feel like when you go on a date there's like the flirting and all that even if you've been like intimate no, even a hundred times before there's still that slight little bit of like flirting because it's like you're still trying to seal the deal so I know to speak. what you're saying but i definitely am a sex before like let's just bang it out really quick yeah yeah and then fuck again later yeah that's me but I don't feel like that's cheating. You, <laughs> now, you're, now you're cheating. You're like, I'm going to do both. That's not the question. It's no, you want to do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, just... you're OK. Oh, OK. I guess you're right. OK. Would you rather? Right. <sighs> you just mm. cheated. You can't do that. Yeah, you're right. I guess fuck after you're right. OK. That's what I'm saying. It's All like right. the buildup, the anticipation. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I appreciate that. OK. Would you rather I wear lingerie or be completely naked? the lingerie really i am a big oh my god i have stuff i'm honestly a big fan of like not naked i will throw something on for you after this some like a shirt or bra a shirt something just something i don't know why it's like Hmm. almost like the whole there's something left to discover Hmm. i don't know it's very odd. I am a it big makes no fan. Sense. I am a big. I don't wear underwear, but if I do have underwear on, I do. I'm a big fan of like sliding the underwear over. I think that's super hot. Yeah. Um. I have stuff. I'll throw something on for you. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. See, I'm learning. Okay. Would you rather sex in front of a mirror or through your phone camera? I've never done the phone camera. Hmm. Yeah. But I've that done takes the mirror. a lot of trust. I love the yeah. mirror. That one. That takes a lot of trust. Mm-hmm. It's like the one joke. It's like, yeah, you want to go watch, uh, you want to go to my house and watch porn on my mirror? <laughs> like, <laughs> I love that. I would totally be like, yes, yes, I do. That's a good pickup line for somebody like me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's a good one. All right, I'm going to remember that. Okay. Would you rather have lights on or off? <sighs> I'm surprised you're balking at this con- at this question because I, if the, I, <sighs> I like a little bit of light. I like to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, well, but I, set, I, don't, I set the mood pretty good here. But I don't want it to be like full on fucking like daytime light. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't care. I, I need a little bit of light just to see what's going on. You like you like the you like the vibe. Yeah, I yeah. And, and I I set the mood for sure. Like you know, I have my red lights on everywhere. Right. Or and I agree that is the most sexy. But I, I don't I I don't care. But I do yeah. not like sex in the pitch black. Right. I don't want to be like Unless Stevie Wonder the out there. Yeah. 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 Unless it's like middle of the night. Right. Okay. Would you rather send an accidental nude to your parents or to your boss? <laughs> Definitely parents. Parents too. Because my boss, yeah. like I I couldn't do that. My parents at least. 
They're very They'd southern. Like, oh, hot dog. We they're, know who you yeah, are. They're very southern and religious. So we would just do the classic. We just will never discuss this. Yeah. And we will just, just move on with our day. Yeah, I definitely pick parents too. Okay, would you rather missionary or doggy? Missionary, you have to pick probably. One. Really? Really, really. Hmm. You like the intimacy? I do. You are. I can't wait to fuck you. You are a good lover. You really are. Like you I try to be. You, you are. And trying yeah. to stick in that B B minus territory. Now, see, I would pick doggy. <laughs> see, it, doggy's fine. I just, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather have sex in public or in the bedroom? Obviously, the bedroom. Like that's. I just. <laughs> that's too risky for me. That's yeah. That's wild. Well, I mean, I, I, I like to risk it for the biscuits. I would say public. Like, if I'm fucking on a balcony, we can go fuck on my front porch. We can fuck on my patio. Like, I like I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> See, I would do it, but I would just be so nervous of getting caught. Have you ever dabbled into public play or? I guess the most public would be, like, a parking lot. Yeah. That's, like, people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But even, I don't know if that counts as public or not because yeah. you're still in the car. So yeah. it's like. Mm, you're kind of hidden. I feel like my college fuck buddy really got me into the public play. We would fuck all the time on his deck, and he would always be fingering me in places, or I'd be sucking his dick in the fucking movie theater. Like we were always about that. Bad, bad girl, bad, bad girl. All right, next one. Um, would you rather be kinky or romantic? I have a feeling I know what you're gonna say. I don't. I don't. It's hard because it's like, what is what's considered romantic? Are we talking like- lots of kissing, like you know hardcore well for me i guess not hard but like passionate like kissing closeness intimacy that kind of feel or tie me up and bend me over and smack my ass <laughs> it just de- it depends on the vibe of the day okay like i'm gonna say kinky yeah i like just... i like i do like my, i always say my style is hardcore passionate fucking i, I like a little bit of both yeah no i agree but it's yeah. like it depends on the day some days it's like you know you want to be really intimate in that yeah. and some days it's like just want to pull your hair, spit in your mouth, and just call mm. it a day. Mm. Like, yes. Now, see, I'm gonna go ahead and pick kinky because that's what I'm talking about. I would rather do that every single time. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my pussy's getting wet. If I'm being honest, but anyway, okay. Um, <laughs> would you rather sex in the shower or sex in a car? See, I can't really do the shower. I'm so much taller than everyone. I, it's so yeah. hard. You got to bring a step stool. You know what? I would prefer the car too. And I feel like you bring a step stool. You're so funny. You're right. You are. What are you, six five? You're six I am. five. Yeah. Six you're, five yeah. and yeah. 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 You're very tall. Um, I hate sex in the shower because water kills everything. It oh, gets well, rid of it, all yeah. the fucking lubrication, that natural lubrication. It sucks. I hate sex in the shower. And then someone's always cold. Like oh, yeah. uh, you've seen my shower. A lot of guys have been like, Oh, I want to fuck you in there. And I'm like, Ugh, God, can we not? Like I feel like sex in the shower is like a early 20s thing like yeah a, like that's like a high school something to do early check 20s. it off the list yeah you're like right. oh guess what i did yeah but then when you're like that's like a reaching adulthood is realizing sex in the shower isn't that great i agree okay would you rather watch or be watched i don't want to watch that's just boring okay yeah i, I rather I, I would rather be watched i've only too. been watched once we're definitely both like exhibitionists yeah yeah I've only been you were watched them. once, I like was. how with what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's very odd. I was on Fet Life, and I got this. Did you go to that fucking hotel room? And fuck that cream no, no, pie no, no, girl. No, okay. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. Okay. Because that's just like, ugh, that's. I feel like that's yeah, Russian roulette, basically. I agree. And then, um, <laughs> it was like this event where it was like, I want someone to bang my girlfriend or something. So I just mm. hit the maybe going because I was like, eh, I just want to see the updates. It was like a follow button almost. And then the guy PMs me. He's like, hey. What are you doing tonight? It's like 2 a.m. on the Saturday. And I just happened to look at my oh my God. email and I saw a little thing pop up. And I was like, okay. And I'm like, uh, nothing. What's up, dude? And he's like, hey, you want to come bang her? She's like sitting here in my bed ready to rock and roll. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Is this <laughs> recent? This is recent. Uh, it was a few months ago. Oh, my God. And so he's like, all right, here's the address. Come over right now. And so I drove over. She was naked in the bed, and he was sitting in the thing. He walked over. He's like, hey, I'm blah, blah, blah. And I went, hi, I'm blah, blah, blah. And he went, nice to meet you. And then he went and sat back down. He's like, go ahead, brother. And we oh. did it. And then afterwards, he's like, hey, I really appreciate you coming by. Shook my hand. Have a great night. And I was like, hey, you too, buddy. And then wow. I left. It was very odd. But at the same time, I was like, I don't hate it. I, hey, he was a very nice guy. Yeah, very nice. 
And, she and was, that's a kink, by the way. That's his kink. That's his yeah. thing. I love couples. So I really love being my favorite thing about being a unicorn is filling in the gaps and then being like a fifth or like the odd number out because I do very well flexing between different couples and I like watching that kind of action and I'm also like a big cheerleader like I'm like yeah fuck that pussy like you know what I mean and yeah, it's yeah. fucking hot and it's amazing um so I can understand it wow and that's the thing that killed me too because like he was a pretty attractive dude like I'm not gay at all but you know, I can admit when someone's attractive yeah pretty attractive dude he's very fit she was very attractive. It was just mm. odd. Like That's his thing. And like I said, he was very nice. He met me at the door. Hey, how you doing? I'm wow. Justin. I made that name up. I honestly can't remember what it was. And I was oh, like, shit. hey, I'm blah, blah, blah. And he's like, great to meet you, buddy. And then he went back and just sat in this. They had a perfect little cuck chair yep. set up. Mm. And then the bed was right there. Mm-hmm. The TV was going. And she was just like, hi. <laughs> and I was just, got to work. Wow. Okay. Good for you. And it was, uh, it was very odd. Interesting. And that was the only time, though, that I've ever been watched. I like being, I, I don't, well, that's not true. I don't want people, so I don't want somebody to pull up a chair when I'm in those rooms. Um, but being watched and being in the same the bed. Clubs? I haven't. Hey, um, actually, I have a friend. She has an app called Unicorn Landing. And hmm. she and her husband invited me to TPA in December. Do you want to go together? I have a membership. I know you Okay. <laughs> we're I, gonna, I let's bought go. the year membership thing. All whatever. Right, let's go together. Because, okay. and, and they were like, I know all the people that do all the things. So let's talk about that offline. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Would you rather be cheated on or be the cheater? <laughs> Someone asked. Tough question. Well, I've had the former. <laughs> yeah. Me too. That was unfortunate. Um, I guess be the cheater because at least. I me don't too. Know. I don't. Being cheated on sucks. Yeah. yeah I'd rather be the cheater. I, don't know. I can honestly say this at the age of 42, I will never, ever, ever again cheat, um, deal with any, I, I will never deal with any of that ever again. I mean, I can't, I can't control if my partner cheats on me, but I will never be the cheater again, ever. No. That's a rough one. Learn that lesson. I guess the cheater, because at least then I get something out of it. With being cheated yeah, on, you right. just show yeah, up and be sad. Sucks. <laughs> you yeah. just show up and you're just sad. You're just yeah. like, aw. Uh, would you rather, this is a good question, would you rather have the best sex ever mm-hmm. once a month or mediocre sex every day every day really that was not even a thought so when someone asked that i thought what would i say and i think for me i would rather have best sex ever once a month once a m- i don't think you could i hate sex once i i agree but I, if i had to pick it's would you rather i i get that but mediocre i feel like every after day like six months you'd be like oh, jesus fucking christ i don't know though i'd rather have good sex yeah, but mediocre still. It's still mediocre. I know, but all pizza's it's good. Like Pete's cold right. pizza. I know. I yeah. Mm, Every day. Or I'm still gonna say I'd rather have once, once a, a month really rough. good sex. I agree, but I don't know. It's just me. That's my answer. Maybe you're better at jerking off than I am. Maybe I'm just yes. bad at it. Maybe I'm just bad. At it. Oh my <laughs> so god, I'm like, oh, that's terrible. I'm the queen. In fact, yesterday <laughs> I went for <laughs> I went for a walk yesterday uh, with Uncle Mo, and I said, "Hey." what time are you going to be done with like your work and stuff? Like, do I have time to go home and jerk off first? And he was like, yes, you do. I was like, all right, perfect. <laughs> he texted me. He's like, are you done yet? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's go. <laughs> I got out of the car. Like I was still, fu- I'm, I'm raging right now. So like you're, you are prepared. I told you, prepare yourself. I'm going to fuck prep. you so hard in that swing. You have I'm no ready idea. To rock and roll. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, and I was like, God, my clit's still swollen. I'm still all wet. And I was like, do you want to bend me over that tree? And he was like, shut up. I'm like, I mean, I, I, I when I get like that, it's, I'm going to chew bark off a, off a tree. It's terrible. It's fucking terrible. But anyway, all right. I, I, I lost my, yeah, sounds horrendous. <laughs> uh, God, stop it. But please. yeah, I do. I do jerk off a lot, a whole lot. Okay. I know what your answer is going to be for this. Would you rather be a sugar daddy or have one? <laughs> See, wait, what do you think my answer is going to be? I think you'd rather have one. <laughs> yeah. Like, who who you know. wants to pay for things? I don't know. Like, you think I want to go to Wegmans and buy they stuff? They like that control. No, I want daddy to buy me. Yeah, I know. That me too. delicious apple pie at Wegmans. <laughs> <laughs> so you can buy it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, my I God. I don't know, man. I can see the appeal of the sugar daddy thing. Like, if you're like in your 40s, you're like not good at flirting or not good looking or, you know, whatever. Like, to find like a nice 20 year old and you're like the sugar daddy of and you get laid. I kind of get it, but yeah. Part of me is also just like, bro, just 
put a tenth of that effort into yourself, that money yeah. that you're spending, and you could probably get laid yeah, without I agree. spending like someone's rent money. I think you know so. I, mean? I think too, it's kind of like a kink. Like guys like taking care, or girls too. There's yeah. there's, there's lots of cougars well, it's out like there. The femdom thing, right? Oh, yeah, femdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that a blows thing. my mind. I That's can never thing. imagine giving someone money and being like, oh, "I love this. Take my money." But some people are just like they have nothing else to do with it. No. I, I, yeah, you know? like I said, that that's one of those one things I know. That I'm just like I don't get it, brother. <laughs> just go buy me neither like a pizza or a car. Go buy a Benz. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'd be happy every day. Like oh, look at my Benz. Oh my god! Any Fendom subscribers out there, feel free to hit me up. My Venmo <laughs> is. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'll hook him up with you. Don't worry about it. Okay, would you rather morning or late night sex? Probably, probably. Oh, frick, I don't know. That's a hard one. Morning for me all day, every day. Because I'm best I, part of waking that's up. That's what I'm saying. I like both. There's I like both too. You, you got to pick one. You got it's. Would you rather? Morning for me. For if sure. it was like a guarantee night, but the mm. problem with doing it night, especially if you're like married or living together, or just you know normal people. It's I like, listen, I know there's lots of different circumstances, but right, work gets in the way, yeah. or you're like I'm really tired tonight, mm. or this happened tonight, this happened. So morning is usually like a guarantee. Like I you love wake the up and you're just like. I'm here. I'm ready to rock and yeah, roll. Like, yeah. but I will say this. Remember the first time that we fucked? We, I think you woke me up at like four in the morning. I don't know. Yeah, what, that's that was a hot romp. That's my alarm clock. The four a.m. Yeah, that's when I get up. So I'm just ready to rock and roll. That was super hot. <laughs> so that was a good late night fuck. But I would still prefer mornings. You wouldn't count that as morning. No, I, to me that's like late night. Oh, to me that's morning. That's because <laughs> we went back to bed after. So oh, to that's me, true. okay, okay, fair enough. Fair All enough. right. Uh, would you rather be tied up or blindfolded? <laughs> Probably blindfolded. I don't think I'd like being tied up. Mm, I would much rather be tied up. See, I don't like giving mm. up the control. I yeah, don't like that. I do. I, I love that. Well, that's why you're yeah. not the dumb. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Okay. Here's a good question somebody had for you. Would you rather someone tell you they're pregnant? Oh, or God, that- no. <laughs> I have so many kids right now. Please, God. <laughs> Please, God, no. I'll take whatever is behind door number two. <laughs> whatever it is, I don't care. Give me that one. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. It's so bad. <laughs> you Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. We're acting okay, like you only have three kids. Y- yeah. With your ex-wife. Like, yeah. it's not okay. Like, you don't have like a That thousand. I know about. No, You're I'm not kidding. like fucking, you know, DMX or what's... um. Who was it who Freaking got roasted on TV? Mariah Carey's husband, the Nick Cannon. There Nick you go. Nick Cannon. He's got a lot of kids. Oh my God, he has so many. Who was the other guy when um, so Martha many. Stewart roasted him and she said Elon Musk has a lot. Too. You should learn how to pull out. Does he? Yeah, he's got like eight or something. Damn. He's got like two or three sets of twins. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay, well the 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 uh, so what you're gonna <laughs> get <laughs> behind door number two is an incurable STD. Oh Ooh. shit. I know. <laughs> Well, I guess door number one. Damn. That's a... Okay, whoever submitted that question, first off, I hate you. You're a terrible person. That's a really good one, though. It's a really good one. I know. Oh, my God. I hate you and congratulations. You got me. God, I don't even know how I would answer that. Shoo. Okay. It's it's number one, then. Yeah. Yeah. Because I do love kids, and I love my kids. I know. And I wouldn't hate another one. It's just... No. Kids are expensive, man. Oh, my God. And it ain't 18 years forever okay it, it, well, especially now yeah it's I like know. 20 25 yeah, like it's insane okay uh would you rather loud or silent sex definitely loud me too oh give me God. feedback Ugh, God. let me know i am so glad that as a woman i am so loud and talkative and shit talker whatever like i've never really had weird quiet sex yeah. um so i, but I, I know there's memes. starfish out there so there is oh, oh my god I, know. I can't even remember this one girl but i just Oof. remember the whole time i was like i hate being here <laughs> <laughs> like i really did like she was very nice like yeah. the whole the whole we went out i forgot what we did but we like went and walked around ellicott city or whatever it is mm-hmm. we went and walked around we had dinner we watched a movie it was a very nice day she was very sweet mm-hmm. pretty good looking and then we got to that and i was just like I was oh like, God. okay, I'm doing stuff wrong, so I changed it up, and she just the whole time, just every now and then heavy breathing, not even fully heavy breathing, just every now and then hear like a, and that was it. And I was oh like, my God, no. I was like, oh my God, I no. can't wait to leave, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, I just, yeah. I want to go home. <laughs> oh my God. 
If yeah. I could have just pulled out and left, I would have. But that oh, would have made man. it ten times awkward. Yeah. Like I didn't even want to finish. Oh no. And like I said, she was very sweet. She was good looking. There's Ugh. nothing wrong with her, but that just was like an instant. Yeah. I hate being here. At least Ugh. give me like a. Show like me those, you're alive. Right. That's like you've fucking... seen those meme on Facebook where it's like dudes be silent, but I'd be in my girl's ear and it's like some dude just going, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that, but I know what uh, you're saying. I'll send you one. Okay. That's me. I'm just like, oh, fuck yeah. Like, no, you talk, though. Like you're, you communicate. Uh, we yeah. have fun. That's, That's how it should be. That's what I'm saying. Dudes out there, just do a little something. You ain't got to be wild. Like you don't have to be braziers or whatever it is. Yeah. Like just give a little something, brother. Yeah, and women too. Like if you're out oh, there being quiet, def- I feel like with women though, it's like kind of expected. But I will tell you, there are some porns where I will just turn it off. Like if a girl's like, ha, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I yeah. can't deal with this. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> like, but with like women, I, mean? I feel like it's expected. Not all women do it. Yeah, you should at least a little something. But with dudes, it's like a weird. I don't know. Almost like an unwritten rule. Like you got to be silent-ish. It's- Mm, nah, I, I love I give love, him a little something, something yeah brother. I love the sounds give him a little and also I I like I can always tell like when a guy's get ready to come like it's almost like you like I, I can I can just tell and then um like it's like a sinus thing like it's yeah. almost like it's weird yeah I can tell but, yeah, like the, and I like the it's hot. subtle shift in breathing and Everything. motions oh, yes yeah. women oh, are the same yeah it's the best okay would you rather drunk or sober sex how drunk we talking? <laughs> don't don't stall at this question. No, no, no. It's because I, I like a few drinks and then do it. It just, I don't know, adds to it a little bit. Mm. But if we're talking like I'm surprised you're saying out, that. No, hell no. Then like, no, obviously. I would much rather prefer sober all day, every day. So I like, like two or three drinks, just enough to kind of. But that's not drunk. So. Right. That's what I'm saying. Just a little. Yeah, no, I need sober. A little some, some just to. You know Take I mean? the edge off. I get what you're saying, right. but I don't know. I like to remember everything. I yeah. Am, oh, no, no, yeah. No. So I, I'll go with sober in the moment. That's what I'm okay. saying. One or yeah. two just to kind of yeah loosen the yeah. mood. Whatever, I know what you're saying, but yeah, I hate that. So my first lifestyle party, I was nervous, and so Baywatch and I were doing shots, and we were doing all you know. And yeah, I'm absolutely. like, I don't remember. Like I remember bits and pieces of, and I hate that. Like I'll never do that again. Um, yeah. yeah. Ugh. That's the I, worst. I kind of did that at my first um, event party, whatever. But I did it. It's funny because <laughs> I went there with one girl and mm-hmm. we were going to meet up with another one and do mm-hmm. a threesome. Mm-hmm. And we did. And I had like no alcohol, maybe one drink. Yeah. But then throughout the night, I just kept drinking because I was nervous because yeah. there were so many other people. And the later the night got at the party, obviously, the more wild people got. Oh, yeah. And then I felt weird because I was normal. I was wearing like. I think black jeans and like a polo and like yeah. nice shoes and everyone else is like in a thong or just but like make, I know fucking assless chaps. So I'm like sitting there in my nice little <laughs> polo with my collar flipped <laughs> and I'm like I feel awkward. I should get hammered. Yeah. So the hooking up was fine, completely sober for that. Mm-hmm. But then time to end and I got home. I got home and I just was gone. Yeah. Absolutely gone. Yeah. I I don't like that. I don't like feeling like I don't really remember too much and I don't I have like hazy, I don't like that shit. Yeah. So, definitely an epic fail on my first party. I'll never do that again. All right, so let's play a little quick Q&A and then we're going to get to that match game. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, so this is what my cravers have asked. Are you ready? And <laughs> some of them, like I said, some of the questions that people ask, I was like, "No." But anyway, okay. Um what is our favorite thing about each other? My favorite thing about you? Yeah. And what's my favorite thing about you? I, I, I'll i answer first. Your personality. 10 out of fucking 10. Thank you. And you're so much fun. Um, Good vibes. I don't know. I guess every does everything count Aww. with you? I mean, you're attractive. You're, you're funny. You're a... You know what? Like, you're going to get fucked after this. <laughs> I mean, just... I don't know. It's like... What's not to love about you're, you? You're like, the best. For this You're one? gonna get your dick sucked. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> I, I, thank you for setting I, me up for that, <laughs> Mister Anonymous <laughs> Questionnaire. Is, yes, right. thank you. Uh, someone asked, "Who has?" I think it was the it was who has a wilder sex drive. Probably you, I guess. Yeah, I think me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can be, you can get there. I think. Uh, yeah, I just need a little little help. Yeah, I need the the wingman yeah. person. Wing person. Um, someone asked in there. They're like, "What is your type?" I guess it's like for both of us. For me? Yeah. What is your type? I don't know. Um, 
I don't think do I you have, have a type that. like blonde or brunette like do you have a type not I do. really there's really i don't know i would say larger chest probably but i don't know i feel like that's not even really a thing like big like, titties no yeah. that's a thing that's a thing but i'm saying yeah. like you know in the grand scheme of things that's like pretty low on the list of wild things that you like about a woman mm. i like um, tall for sure i like scruffy face um you you are very much my type. Brown hair, blue eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I really have a type. Like, mm. I just kind of... I got no type. You ever heard that yeah, song? Yeah, I would say I'm more of a personality <laughs> vibe as opposed to a... Because, you know, I'm dating taller women, shorter women, no, blonde, I, brunette. You know, as we get older, I do feel like that, too. Like, you, you are attracted to certain um, physical aspects when you're younger. And then when you get older, you're like, this guy fucking bores me. Like, the personality yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many women I've added I on will... Snapchat or whatever mm-hmm. to talk to. And then within, like, a few days, week, I'm like, yeah, I'm not messaging you anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, you're just, you just bore me. Holy yeah, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't deal with boring either. And neither of us can. That's one of the that's one of the reasons why you broke my fucking rules the first time we hung out. State whatever. That was a lot. That was a lot going on. But it was your personality, you know? So all right. Uh and this answers this answers you answered my next question already. Or someone, you know, tits or ass man. Tits, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh what is your most embarrassing sex memory? I know it's going to take some thinking and thought, My but... My most embarrassing sex Like, memory. do you have an embarrassing sex moment? <clears throat> Not really. I mean, y- yeah, sure, but... Like, something's ever happened where you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure... Not really, honestly. Like I have I, one. There's things that have happened. Okay, here's... I'll give you one. I wasn't, like, super embarrassed about it. It was a little awkward, but it was kind of like, whatever. We're all adults here. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a while back, but relatively recent. Um, the past year, I was with these two girls. A and, threesome. Yeah, mm. I think I've seen pictures and, of them. They're hot. I saw pictures of them, didn't I? Uh, definitely the one girl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other girl's like again, relatively new. She's very nice though. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, they're both on their thing, so they're like, "Well, we'll just do like a blowjob. We'll hang out, blowjob." And I was like, "Well, <laughs> you've convinced me." <laughs> Twist my arm. Uh, <laughs> so she came over or they came over um we watched a movie i don't even remember what we did we chatted blah 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 and then we're like doing it going back and forth obviously um and then i got kind of close and then it went away mm. i'm like cool whatever and then swapped to the other girl and then just instantly came back and i just went oh i'm black <laughs> And that was it. That's was, not embarrassing. Well, it kind of was because then she was like, oh, and then she just like pulled it out and she was like, oh, and it just went everywhere, went on the couch, everywhere. Oh, whatever. And, and then she's like, oh, sorry, I don't catch. And I was like, it's okay. Ew. I was like, that's my bad. I should have gave more warning. That's on me. Sorry. And I then mean, it was like this awkward because she was apologizing. She's like, I'm sorry. I hope you don't feel offended. I just don't do that. And I was like, hope you don't feel offended because yeah. I didn't give you the warning and we didn't like discuss it. There's a lot of girls out there that have beforehand. like- a thing they don't like come mm-hmm. which I mean, me I i'm like I'm, <laughs> I'm like i'm aiming i'm like right here right here yeah so it was it was semi awkward because we're both like sorry mm. my bad Ugh. like awkward but my was, most embarrassing yeah. moment ever in my entire fucking life and i was only uh 19 years old i was on excuse me <laughs> sorry <laughs> god <laughs> i was on antibiotics and um it made my pee orange oh, and yeah, i yeah. had me a I didn't even think about it. And I will never forget. Like, it, this is back in, I wasn't even in college. I was like first year of college, I don't remember. But anyway, he was going down on me. We were fucking doing all this stuff. We turned the lights on and it looked like a murder scene. Like, it was this orange everywhere. He had orange all over his face. There was orange. Oh my God. It was so bad. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. That was, that was embarrassing. I was like, oh my, oh my God. It was wild, crazy, bright orange. Like it was insane. It looked like high C everywhere. Like, the, like an Oompa Loompa. It was. Oh my god! It was so, <laughs> like he was like one of those Oompa Loompas. Fucking everywhere. Anyways, okay. Uh, we'll we'll balance this out. Okay, what was your hottest? What would you say has been your hottest sexual experience? And I'm about to top it because we're gonna fuck in the swing. But anyway, go ahead and share. <laughs> the my threesome hottest. Yeah, I guess. Um, probably the hottest was. Yeah, had these two girls. I was dating the one girl. 
And then we were kind of experimenting with the cucking or cut mm-hmm. queen, I guess you call it, whatever. Mm-hmm. So this other girl comes over. She's very nice. I liked her a lot. And the one girl was like, hey, I got to run to my house real quick. She lives like 20 minutes away. Mm-hmm. She's like, I got to go to my house, let my dog out because it's been a while. Someone was supposed to come let him out, but they canceled, blah, blah, blah. So she like leaves. So the other girl and I are just talking, chatting, blah, blah, blah. And then it's just one of those things where you just like lock eyes and you just, yeah. it's time. Mm-hmm. And we just started going at it on my dining room table. Mm. And it was the classic, like I bent her over, she had on this black thong. I just moved it to the side mm. and we're just going to town. Oh, I love that. And then the other girl walked in and just went, up, oh, hi. And I just went, and we just both kind of turned around because the way my dining room is, it's like the back of my ground floor and then obviously the doors at the front. So we both kind of just like, because I'm hitting it from behind. Yeah. And she's bent over the table and we just kind of turned around and just went, oh, uh, hi. And she was just like, what's up? <laughs> it was just almost something out of a porno oh, where you're just like hot and she's yeah. just like can I join yeah, can, yeah. <laughs> can I join Ooh, I love that for you but it was like real life and I was like oh fuck yeah it's oh. one of those things where you're just like the good lord is good you know <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> if I could just tell you I, I I swear to god I feel like if you haven't experienced you know more than one partner at the same time uh, obviously the lifestyle is different level when you're at a sex party or an orgy or whatever it is just every sense is just it's fucking insane and it's amazing and some of my very best experiences I'll touch really quick on my hottest sexual experience I mean there's been so many it's really god it's really really hard to narrow that down but I I feel like the lifestyle parties that I've been to and the situations where I'm like getting bent over and my friend's fucking me and then I'm fucking my other friend's dick and then his wife is sucking my titties at the same time that's intense right um and yeah I had this I had this incredible five some was that was called five some earlier this year and it was the hottest fucking lifestyle oh it was so amazing Mm. At what point does it stop becoming like a five some, six some, seven some, and just becomes an orgy? Orgy, yeah, I don't what's know. The, what's the number there? I don't know. What is the number? That's a good question. We should Google it. I don't know because it was two couples plus me. Which, which by the way, I feel like that's where I thrive. I'm a, I'm a very good odd number, like I said. So um, the, um, the five some was so I was hot. Th- I was thinking like a flex player, like you just. Yeah, I'm a like pitch. I'm, kinda, I'm coming in. Right. Yeah. yeah. You just fill in any I'm, position. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's a fabulous place to be. Let me tell you. All right. So, okay. The next one is what? Was, so somebody said, what was Hot Dog's first impression of you? People like to get to know. So what no, was your first fair. impression of me? Um, I'm wondering if they mean like when we matched or when we met. I'll go with when we met. We met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In real life. Um, I don't know. I guess the vibe you had was just very like, I don't want to say carefree, but kind of just I really appreciate that about you. You're just mm-hmm. kind of like, you don't really let things get you down. Like, even if you're upset about something, you'll be like, yeah, that fucking sucks. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> and then you're kind of over it. Yeah. I'm a dweller. I'm very much a, this sucks. Let me talk about how terrible I am for experiencing it and mm-hmm. how I should have prevented it. And where you're just like, yeah, that sucked. So anyway, <laughs> you want to go get Mexican later? <clears throat> hey, I got 32 high noons. You want to like split them? <laughs> and you're just like over it. And you're, you're right. Yeah. A very yeah. happy, just, oh, I'm just you. glad to be here person. No, I feel like that, I bounces, that bounces me out a lot. It's funny because when I first met you, my very first impression of you was how incredibly, it was so refreshing how fun and funny. And you, I felt like you were, your confidence was just like skyrocketed. Like you were just like, yeah, I'll take a drink. And then, so when are we going back to your house? And I was like, we're not going back to my house. And you're like, so what's your address? So I can put it in my GPS. And I'm like, this fucking guy. But I loved it. Like, I absolutely loved it. And you are you're more carefree than you think you are. Yeah. I, I, you are. The confidence is to hide the childhood trauma. Oh, That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Dad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen, we all got it. But, oh, that was it's funny because like my impression of you was kind of this. I, I just felt so relaxed with you and good vibes right away. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never, I, I get that. Like women are very, I don't want to say, I'm not sketchy. Um, worried, I guess about meeting guys. So mm-hmm. I try to be not like, I try yeah. to be very obvious. Like, Hey, look, yeah, not, you're a good guy. Not yeah. a murder dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm not a murderer. I'm not going to hurt you. Right. right. Like, cause no, yeah, I get it. Like, 
you know, obviously I don't get it, but this, I try to get it, I guess I should yeah. say. Because 6'5", dude, I've yeah. not really been worried too much. You know, Iraq and Afghanistan, I was worried. But as far as being in America, I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm pretty happy to be here. I'm just walking around wherever I want, whenever I want. Yeah. Because I'm just like a dude where it's like, you know. Yeah. You guys got to be a little more careful. No, true, true, true. Okay, what is your biggest turn on? Confidence in themselves and accepting me. Hmm. It's like the two front. Like, because uh, not being confident in yourself is just very like. I can't believe you. Confidence is mine. My absolute biggest turn on, hands yeah. down. Like, yeah. you don't want to bring someone up. You want someone who's already up. But you, it's weird. It, this is crazy that you're saying this. By the way, I'm looking over it. I'm like, oh my God, look at all that lube. It fucking. <laughs> Sex toys everywhere around here. Anyway. <laughs> Look at the table behind you. Look at that one. That, this is the light table. <laughs> I just looked at it. I'm like, oh my God, the clit sucker is sitting over there. Anyway. Um, but you, from now on, I'm going to have your answer. Confident, confidence, but also acceptance of me. Because I'm a lot, right? Like, this is a lot. Like, you're not a regular person is going to be like, oh my God. Um, so I'm, I'm going to change my answer to that too. But confidence is huge. I agree. Yeah. yeah. No, I would say yeah. um, to all the dudes on Tinder and whatnot right now swiping, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. don't don't open up with I hate myself. Yeah. Just open Ew. up with I'm here for a good time. Yeah. I like you. You're fun. Yeah. You know what I'm it saying? should be like, chill. Yeah. Right. You're here for a good time, brother. If it God. results in marriage, cool. If it results in just Ew. a handy marriage. in a Walmart parking lot, that's also cool. <laughs> but you just got to just got to vibe and just go with it. Don't. Yeah, I see you so many times. You are a very go with it guy, and I love that about you. Yeah, you see that all the time. Dudes on like subreddits or whatever talking about like, oh, I never get any dates, and then it shows conversations, and like their opening line is, oh, I'm a piece of shit. How are you? It's Ew. like, yeah, no, immediate exactly. turn off. Yes. There you go. Exactly. Yeah, women hate that. Yeah, ugh, confidence is everything. I've talked about that a million times. Okay, who would be your celebrity crush? Like, if we were in a relationship, who would you be like, Adrian? This is my hall pass. Your pass. Yeah. See, I'm terrible. With remembering celebrities' names. <laughs> I can tell you what movies they were in okay, and how much I like the movie, but I'm I can't tell you their names. I'm terrible celebrities, name. too, but somebody asked. I know who mine is. Bradley Cooper. Ugh, that dude is a good-looking love, guy. I know. For sure. Oh, I would do That's a, good choice. a lot to him. That's a good yeah. choice. I wouldn't even ask for a hall pass either. I'd be like, F- I'm risking it. <laughs> I, I would watch that. That's a good-looking dude. <laughs> he is. He's so hot. For sure. Okay. And I also, my girl crush would be Scarlett Johansson. Love her. Also very attractive. She's so hot. She's beautiful. Blonde hair. I love I love her. Mine Rachel would McAdams be... is another one too. I don't know who that is. The girl from the notebook. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I know what movie. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> um I don't know. Okay. You don't have to answer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really watch a lot of TV either, so I don't even have television here anymore. Yeah. I, if you show me a picture of them, I'll be like, Oh, I've seen that movie. Yeah. But I can't tell you yeah. names. But no, Scarlett Johansson, I mean that's just Come yeah, on. She's come on. A fox. Okay. If you say no to that, you're wrong. You know? <laughs> okay. What is your favorite? I'm interested in this. What is your favorite? It might be my question. Um, what is your favorite porn to watch? Like, what are your categories? What do you search when you okay. watch porn? Well, 99% of the time, mm-hmm. I don't. You don't watch porn? I would say I watch porn like 10 videos a year, maybe. Maybe. What? I watched like 10 videos yesterday. No, I really don't. When you jerk off, what do you do? Nothing. I just, I just memories. Usually, I think about wow. a previous hookup experience, whatever. Wow. Okay. I have to have porn. Usually, if I jerk off, beat it, whatever you want to call it, it's usually based off a previous experience. I love that. And I'm like remembering it or whatever, mm. reliving it. You're gonna remember the sex swing. Mm. You're in for a treat. You have no idea. But the ten videos I do watch a year. <laughs> Probably either something super crazy, like a massive gangbang, mm-hmm, just something too. like yeah. just absolute wild. Yes. <laughs> or the public videos where they're like, dude gets blown in a parking lot mm. or whatever like that. Where we it's should... like hard public. Like I saw this one. So wait a minute. Do you do you want to dabble into that with me? I would do that. I'm Yeah, I'm down. Okay. But I watched one. It was like literally middle of the street. Dude got blown. I, that's a lot, but yeah, if we yeah, went yeah. for a hike, I would bend over. I don't care. Um, yeah, let's 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 dabble into that together. Okay, I'm down okay. for it. All right, add it to the list. <laughs> oh, let me answer because I know my cravers are going to be like, "Well, what is yours?" Um, I like gangbangs. 
I like cream pies. I also like uh, guys jerking off. I'm a big J-O kind of girl. Uh-huh. Yeah. But what's here's what's interesting is tons of guys are like, can I send you a video? Can I show you this? Can I show you my cock? I only like watching complete strangers like porn of guys jerking off or my partner. Like if you sent me a J-O video, I would be like, oh, fuck yeah. Um, but I don't like getting stuff. I don't know. Like guys ask me all the time. My DMs are like, I want to send you. F-, and they'll send me videos of like them jerking off. And I'm like, ugh, it just doesn't do it for me. Isn't yeah. that weird? No. Nah. It's so weird. The amount of women I've talked to that say dudes in unsolicited oh, it never ends. pics or whatever, yeah. it just blows my mind. I know. I've sent um, penis pictures, dick pics, whatever you want to call it. Pictures. Penis pictures. <laughs> I like that. The P squared. Um, <laughs> I've sent that to like literally three women in my life. Yeah. I'm One not, of which yeah. I was married to. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't get that. I know. I don't know. And the thing of it is, too, is like with guys that I've. I mean, in a relationship, it's great. Like, you're like, yeah. hey, I'm jerking off thinking of you, whatever. I don't, that's that's different. But like the random unsolicited stuff, I'm like, what do you want me to say to that? Right. How many times am I going to say, oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. This what? is a dude to all my fellow bros out there. Just stop, brother. I know. That's... The unsolicited dick pic too, by the way, is not okay. Yeah. And also, it's not going to help your cause. I agree. I don't, There, there's a 99.999% chance you send it to her. You're blocked. There's, she's not going to go. Wow, that's a nice looking dick. You know what? I wasn't going to sleep with you. I've changed my mind. Some girls might because why the fuck are they still doing it? And then also, I, I just want to say do. this. The moment that you say, do you have a snap or can you send me some videos? It's an immediate no. Done. See, I, I always ask for snaps, but that's just a chat instead of phone number. We well, should tell them like, hey, like we'll chat on Snapchat. Yeah. I don't know. I, I only talk to Baywatch Snap. on Snapchat. I don't do anything else on, on Snapchat, yeah. but he's also well, the only reason old, I, so. Well, I was going to say, I usually ask for snaps instead of numbers because there was a few times I asked for numbers and girls were kind of like weird about it. Like, I don't really give up my number either. I do Telegram. Right. I'm a big fan of Telegram. But anyway. That's why I do Snap. Yeah. And okay. usually if I ask for Snap and they don't have it, they'll just go, how about my number? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. But you say like it's for chatting, not like, hey, send me some videos. All right. Yeah. 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 yeah I'll yeah, be like, yeah. hey, what's your Snap? I'll chat you. Yeah. Because this app, I usually use the lie. I'll be like, oh, this app sucks for chatting. <laughs> Give me your snap. Oh, God. Hey, it's, a, it's a small lie, but it's it's okay. You know, <laughs> a little bit of lying is okay. You just can't full lie. I only, I really genuinely only use Snapchat for Baywatch. That's because that's his thing. You know, 20 year olds. That's what they well, use. Well, that's why I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Same. That's, that's why I got it. Because people were like, what's your yeah, snap? What's your right, snap? Right. I'm like, all right, whatever, brother. I don't care. Okay. Uh, who did you lose your virginity to? And how old were you? Oh man. Um, do I say her name? I'll no, say her name. don't. You don't have to say her name. I'll say her first name only. Okay. Yeah. Don't say her last Mary. name. Mary. Mary. Okay. <laughs> yes. She was a senior. Mm. I was a sophomore, mm. and um, I had no idea at first because I was a sophomore and a virgin. Yeah. Um, and I remember I was taking like the advanced senior courses or whatever in high school. So she was in that class with a bunch of others. And then she was like, yeah, we should hang out sometime, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Went to her house. Or she came over to my house first. We made out a bunch. That was the first girl I ever kissed, too. Oh, wow. By the way. <gasps> Fun fact. Fun my, fact. My first fuck was also the person, the first person I ever kissed. Nice. Mm-hmm. So I remember we kissed. And then the next time she invited me to her house. And I remember I was such a fucking, like, just oblivious. She invited me over. My parents dropped me off because mm-hmm. I didn't have a car yet because we were super dirt poor. So I get there and then she's like, How yeah. are you? 16? Yeah. Yeah, I was 16 too. And she's like, Oh, my mom's not home. And I'm just like, Oh, that's weird. I thought you said your mom would be here. Like, I had no idea what she was in. <laughs> I'm just like, Oh, I thought your mom was going to be here. Weird. We're not supposed to be unsupervised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like making out with me. We're like in the Dry room. Humping. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like going like animal instincts or whatever. And then I'm just like, Yeah. This is weird. I don't understand. And then finally, she made like a bunch of hints. I'm not picking it up. I'm just yeah. like, yeah, why would I take my pants off? I don't understand. Like, I'm full on, like, brain just has no blood in it. Oh like, God. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And then finally, she's <laughs> like, you should really take off your pants. <laughs> and then we had sex. Oh, my God. <laughs> so mine, my first kiss when I was 13 years old. And then he was my first fuck when I was 16. He oh, was two years okay. older than me as well. Um, and I was at his mom's. This is so like very parallel reminiscent. Um, I was at his mom's house as well. Although his mom was home. 
Mm. And she heard. So that was a whole. And she had to take me to work the next morning. And she was like, I'm tired because I was up all night. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Anyways, yeah. I just remember thinking to myself, is this it? Is this like really all that it was? You know what I mean? But I was so infatuated and crazy about him. He was the boy next door. I grew up next to him. Mm-hmm. The classic. There's a lot of stories with that. My dad caught me sucking his dick one time. Listen, well, I could talk all day about that, but Oy. let's move on. Okay. <laughs> um, what is your idea? Or no, the next question is, do you like 69? Not really. Me neither. Okay, moving on. Uh, what is your idea of a perfect date? Honestly, it doesn't matter where or what you're doing. It just, it's all about the vibe with the yeah, person you're with. I agree. Like, we went to that really crappy dive oh, bar. yeah, I love that dive and bar. And I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah, agreed. But I could definitely go with one of the other women I've had a date with and yeah. be like, that was the worst place ever. That place sucked. <laughs> yeah. But I went with you. Aww. I'd go there a hundred times. I'm yeah. like, that, that bar's awesome. Yeah. Love it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Gave them a 10 star on Yelp. <laughs> like... <laughs> Just it's it remember you like matter. you ran a red light on the way. No, I ran a red light and you got pulled over. I got Jesus, pulled over. that was quite. I was just yeah. like, yeah, I have no documents. Just run my plate, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my name. Check me out. You're you'll see. I'm fine. <laughs> have a great one. Oh my god, I rented a fucking Corvette this summer and he was Ooh. hammered <gasps> and he was like, "Don't worry about it, dude." His bumper was fucked. You know, it's all plexiglass. Yeah, and he or fiberglass, plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, I know what you meant. I was just going with it. <laughs> It's fine. I didn't want to call you out. <laughs> oh, God. These high nudes are kicking in. Uh, but and he was like, don't worry about it. And he's like slurring his words and stuff. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, dude, I just fucked up your car. No, nope, that was it. I so, mean, well, I yeah, I obviously. So lucky. <gasps> what do you think is so better lucky. for him? A yeah, yeah, bumper or right, DUI? He was, and he goes, don't call the cops. I said, don't you worry about that. I ain't calling no popo. <laughs> what are you talking about? I ain't no snitch. I ain't calling the police to talk about. Okay. Um, what is the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Probably just the threesome, mm. which is relatively vanilla, you know, in the grand scheme of things. A threesome's hot. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. The kinkiest things I've ever done, definitely with my dom, being tied up like that, um, being like super submissive, hands behind my, all that crazy stuff. Um, and then sex parties. That's that's pretty kinky. Yeah. yeah. And I also love breath play. Uh, you know what? Probably the kinkiest thing oh, I ever man. did was the asphyxiation. Like I passed out. I'm that was a probably huge fan of choking. Yeah. I didn't start that till post divorce. I love choking too. And then I when read you're about fucking it a me bit. in the swing, feel free to put your hand around my neck. Yeah. Okay. And then I started you know that. like the one girl was like, "Oh, you should choke me." And I was like, uh, "I don't know." Oh, yeah, I love pretty it. Pretty big dude, so I always feel like I'm gonna murder someone. Now, when you have the trust built, that's right. where it happens. But then I started yeah. getting into it. And now I just I can't not mm. like yeah, I, I love it. I know. God bless. I love mm, that. Me too. I can't wait to fuck you. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, let's get through this. What is your <laughs> What is your on the top of your sexual to do list? Like, do you have a I keep a fantasy list. Do you have a list? Do you have something that you're like, I have to check that off like bucket list? I would like to get more into the party thing. The groups. Well, you know, not like, necessarily group sex, but just to meet people to yeah. explore. Because, you know, like pre-divorce, it was very vanilla. Yeah. Super vanilla. Like mm-hmm. no choking. Mm hmm. Hair pulling, I tried a few times, and she was like, don't do that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. So it was super vanilla. And then since then, it's been... Well, you know who you're you hanging know. out with, right? Right. Okay, so we should make so that happen. So it was happen. like, you know, pretty wild, but in the grand scheme of yeah. things, not wild. So I'd like to just explore more just to... Let's you go don't to know TPA what you, together this December. Let's say, you there don't you know go. what you like until you try it. Or at least, Thank you. Right. Agreed. You got to explore. You have to. Oh my God. Th- call me Dora. Like, you absolutely have to. And that was good, by the way. That was really good. <laughs> I really like that. Back, back, back. Um, yeah. And if you don't like it, then don't do it again. But if you, right. most times you will, you know? Yeah. I would say try, try it. it twice. Because mm. if you try something once, sometimes it's just. You're I will tell you something you know I will I mean? never do again Pop Rocks Blowjob. Grapefruit oh, technique. Yeah. It's not my thing. It's the yeah. sticky shit, the gritty. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. So I would not try that again. But I would say to most people, try things twice. Because you can try things once. And yeah. maybe two different partners if you're single or, you know, whatever, yeah. swinging. But, like, sometimes you try something and just for some reason it doesn't hit. Yeah. And you try it again, like, a week, yeah. month, year later. And you're like, I really like that. Mm-hmm. You're just yeah, not keep, in the mood. Yeah. You, right? Yeah. Try it twice. I don't like the try it once thing. Okay. Try it twice. Okay. 
Life lesson right there for you, for you all you cravers out there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, last Q&A, and then we're going to play sex match game. Uh, what's the strangest place you've ever jerked off? Oh, man. <laughs> um, obviously, now I just do it in my bedroom. Um, <laughs> but when I was a teenager... Probably the living room while everyone was home. Oh, wow. Jesus. Yeah, that's ballsy. I'm telling you, man, when yeah. you're a dude, at least, I don't know how women hormones on, but when you're a dude. I'm always threat, yeah. And you're like 14 to like 18 ish, mm -hmm. you'll do yeah. some weird shit to get off. <laughs> like you'll just. I used do to, it yeah, I used to go in my closet when I was when I was younger and like live with my parents and stuff. I would go in my closet and jerk off and stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I did it in the living room, and then it was one of those post nut clarities. You just hit as soon as I came. I like pulled my pants up really quick, and I just went, "What is wrong with me? <laughs> why, why did I do?" I was like, I was so angry with myself. I was just like, I was like my father speaking to me. I was like, "Why would you do that? Why did you do that?" <laughs> And I was just like, I don't know. And then I went to my room and played video games. And it was just like, just shaking my head like, some people. Oh, my God. Yeah. I've, I've done a lot of things like that, I feel like. Um, but the I had an experience when I was in Florida last month. Um, I was out on the beach by myself. And I talked about this in my last episode. But I was sitting there. And I was like, God, you know what? Like, no kids. The beach was empty. I had beers. I had my favorite music playing. This, it was a beautiful fucking day. And I thought, what would make this better? An orgasm. And so I just like rubbed one out right there on the fucking beach. And it was hot. And I came so fucking hard. And it was amazing. I will say, though, I did have like a little bit like, like my, my brother was like, did you have fun down there? And I'm like, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i did yeah the half and then my mom pause. my mom was like um do you got some alone time in because we had kids and i was like yep yep i sure did i'm thinking jesus i'm like that like in my hand that's what the post nut clarity <laughs> we were just like Ugh, yeah why I did i do that i know but i don't regret it at all whatsoever and it was super fucking hot and i was hoping i was like please like Amelia Island is a very wealthy, like high end, like we were at the Omni fucking resort. Okay. And like, there's like all these places and, um, my brother paid for all this shit, by the way. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, very, very, very nice. And there's all these balconies. I'm thinking, oh my God, I hope somebody has binoculars or like a telescope and they're seeing like my hand, you know what I mean? Hopefully someone's got a show, you know, hopefully. Nice. Yeah. All right. Check I YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay. There we go. Okay. So you've never played a sex game before. I have not. All right. We're going to play a sex game. And this is uh, my very own creation. It's a sex match game. If you want the rated R version, which we can play that anytime that you want. Uh, it's on my website, midlifecraving.com. I highly recommend it. It's a great, it's, it's this is a lot of fun and it's a fun way to like be an icebreaker or you know, spicing up your life in the bedroom. So, but this one's more PG 13 because, okay. uh, what well, PG 13 for sure, not PG, but, um, I'm not sucking dick on a podcast. So, <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> <right>. for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing that later, but all right. So, it's a simple match game. You played it before. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you go first. All right. All right. Let's see. You go first. Suck something. Suck something. Kiss me. Well, not a match. All right, not a match. Let's see. Um, tell a fantasy. Tell me a secret. All right, I'm, I'm going to suck at this game, so. All right. Whoops. Kiss my neck. Eh. No, I'm going to go her. Big hug. Oh, All right. I like Aww. that one. I like that one. I don't know why. You're the best. <laughs> okay. Rub a private part. Ooh. <laughs> um, slow make out. Ugh, yes. I want to do all of this. Make a match. Trying, man. Kiss oh, kiss me. me. Didn't we see that one? I thought, oh, Nailed it. got it. Hold on. Don't make sure you don't, you don't want to come on the screen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was just a kiss me, not a, okay. That was, oh, uh, sorry, sorry. No. I get too wild. I know. I know. We got to, we got to tame it. Okay. Put that over there. Okay. My turn, my turn, my turn. Um, oh, your choice. Hmm. Hold on. This something's going on with this. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, your choice. Um, suck something. All right. Let's see. I got a tell me a secret. Slow make. Damn it. 
Where nope. was that slow makeout one? Where was that Am one? I supposed to help you or not? I can't tell. No, you're not supposed to help me. Well, okay. then I can't tell. <laughs> you're not supposed to help me. Okay, hang on. Um, your choice. Come on, where's the other one? Kiss my neck. Damn. Like I said, I, I suck at this game. I don't Dead have Dead center. Okay. Rub a private. Damn, you got that one already. Crap. <laughs> Telefantasy. Ah. Oh, I think I know where that one is. Where was it? Um, This one? Yes. Telefantasy. Ooh. All right. Tell me a fantasy that you have. Wait, aren't you supposed to do it? No, you're, I'm, it's, it's my choice. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Um, <laughs> okay. Probably. Like what would be a fantasy for you? Cause you've done the threesome thing. What would See, be a I've done the you? threesome thing, but it was always like very court. It almost felt too, like there's not enough mystery involved. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess. Like, I feel like a lot of dudes, like, the random or fantasy for them is to, like, have a threesome, but it's not planned. It's like a ad hoc heat of the moment. Like, you're just hanging out with a few friends or a few girls, you know. Yeah. And then it just kind of happens. Yeah. Whereas the threesomes I've had, which is fine. I'm not trying to, like, be angry or disappointed or whatever. It was very, like, a... We're in a group chat. Hey, what's allowed? Like what's not threesome? allowed? Mm. You know, what's not allowed? Hey, we'll come over. Hey, you come over. You know, you know what I'm saying? It was like very planned, which is good because everyone's on the same page. Yeah. But at the same time, it's bad because it's like, it's like an appointment. It's like you're scheduling with your doctor. Like a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> you what you're know? saying. Hey, I'm going to come over at five o'clock. I'm going to do this to you, do that to you. You do this. Yeah. And then I go home after. Whereas like, you know, you want that ad hoc like. So you want, you want a spontaneous threesome. Right. All right. That's on your fantasy list? I would say, yeah. Because okay. that just feels more, I don't want to say more real, but I don't, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, um, For me, it would be a glory hole. Really? I want to build one back there. They have yes. a TPA. Do they? Yes, they do. Okay, I so we're going to go. being used. I guess that'd be the phrase. So a lot of people are like, Adrian, how are you going to fulfill that fantasy? Like, it needs to be a stranger. But no, I, I don't want, I, I'm going to know who's behind the door. But if they do that there, that's not my thing. I have to know who it is. Well, but. You, I mean, obviously you can look who it is because there's like right. a door there. But you can also not. Hmm. There was this one girl that added me. Oh, my God. I forgot what it was on. She added me. She ended up, we ended up having to cancel she had stuff come up, and then one time I had, like, a work meeting I couldn't avoid. Mm-hmm. And then she moved to Colorado. So it's not going to oh, happen. Oh, shit. Jesus. But that was her, like, kink. She was, like, I think married, and mm-hmm. they had a kid together. Mm-hmm. But that was, like, her thing. She was just, like, I love the thrill of some dude I've never met doing a glory hole. Mm. Like, she did the vetting and all that jazz. And then his thing was, like, you know, whatever. I don't know. Mm. He wasn't involved at all, but she was just, she loved it. And she had, like, this thing set up at her house she'd like put like up a, a curtain sheet. or something yeah, okay. like a sheet with the cutout and she was like she had it like laid out like she had rules she was like you'll enter here i will do xyz for mm. five for five to ten minutes then we'll do oral mm. you come you leave you know please give me a 30 second heads up you leave and then uh you know if you want to come back let me know and we'll schedule something wow she was like it was very professional i want to <laughs> say <laughs> it was honestly very nice. I want to, um, I don't know. I did that to me. Is and just she was like very attractive my... too. Yeah. Again, she was like super attractive. Yeah. I just, I just really want to do the, um, I just want to have the glory hole experience. So that to me is like top of my fantasy list. Yeah. I wanted to do it at TPA when I went the one time. We're going to the... go in December. We'll make it happen. Well, they're I'm so, so short. That, you... that was the problem. I couldn't, I, I mean, I could do it, but I have to like squat. Oh, yeah. They were like very so low to the ground. Mm. Cause I like kind of looked at it and I was like, oh, that looks cool. Yeah. And then I went. And yeah. At one point, it was like 1 a.m. And they're like two or three people are using it. They're just going to town. Oh, shit. And there's like a crowd of like 20 people watching and cheering. And they're like, yeah. Oh, and see, I don't know about this. And I then I was like, me. ooh, I kind of want to do that. And then I looked at the holes and I was like, man, I'm going to have to squat the whole time. I was yeah, like, I can't that's do too that. hard. I think I'm like. Yeah, you are too tall. I'm going to destroy my knees. I know. When we fuck in the sex swing. So part of the fun about a sex swing is we have to like make it. We have to adjust the straps right. and make sure that, like, we're aligning properly. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. But we're definitely going to have to change things up uh, because of your height. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's the thing. I didn't think about that. All right. Pull a card. Is, is it my turn? It's your, no, it's it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. Slow make out. Oh, yes. Find that one. Nibble on ear. Okay. Hold on. I got to see where these things are. Your choice. I feel like I've seen this. Rub a private part. Damn. I feel like we already saw that too. Okay, yeah. I feel like we're seeing the same things, but not matching. 
Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. That was two. Oh, I know where that one is. Okay. I'm going to win next. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> You're, <laughs> I'm setting it up for you. I'm perfect win, okay. man. You're welcome. Your choice. Your choice. Okay. Um, I want you, I'm going to, I'm going to bend over over there. I don't want you to spank me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, I'll just bend over right here. Okay. Harder than that. <laughs> okay, that was good. I like how your initial reaction is immediately harder, harder than that. Like harder. Yeah, get get in there. Pardon no, me. That was good. Okay. Your turn. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Um give or get three spanks. Oh, we just did that. We just did Yeah. Wait a second. This game's real. I love to be spanked, so that to me was like big hug. Okay. All right, okay, come on. We've been seeing okay, rubber private part. Nope. Slow make out. God damn it. I feel like we keep getting that one. I know. Maybe we're too hammered. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, what do you want what do you want to rub? Uh hold you, on, be careful. There's a camera here. I'll stand over you here. Tell me. No, it's your choice. What do you what do you want to rub? <laughs> you can rub whatever you want. <laughs> I'll just stand here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh God. Oh no. Fucking up the game. Okay. okay. Worst it. Oh, man, I'm I'm ready to go. Just so you're aware. This game. This game. This game is great. This is too much. I, I'm ready also, to go. We got too many. This is yeah. I feel too many it. options. Okay, my turn. Whose yes. turn is it? Um, kiss my neck. Suck something. Okay. Uh oh. Kiss my neck. Yes. Oh yes. Do wait. Do you want me to kiss your neck, or you want to kiss my neck? It's your choice. I'll kiss your neck. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Okay. This is not. This is not going. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I think it's going well. <laughs> I think that's the problem. It's going too well. Like the plan's working too well. Okay. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. Suck something. Oh no! Suck my tits, bitch. All right. Okay. Terrible. Pick, at this yeah. Game. Pick one of those. Pick one of those. I want. I want to do that. Nibble on my ear. Okay. I don't remember that one. We both have headphones on. <laughs> Give or get three spanks. All right. Hmm. Oh, where's the slow makeout one? No. Nope. Damn it. <sighs> Suck my tits. Oh my god. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it right. Pick it right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna put this. <laughs> no, no, don't put them away. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get banned on Insta if you go back. <laughs> yeah, bye. Okay. <laughs> All right. Woo! Uh, anybody who's anybody who's watching this, they're gonna I like you have to download this game and play this game. <sighs> okay. Man, that's hot. Yes! Okay, what what do we get up? You know what? It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to do the other thing. So, <laughs> you tell me. It's um, you. You did it. Hmm. I'm just here. I'm going with the flow. <laughs> I kind of want to do that again. It's just a, okay. it's a lot of setup. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of setup. I gotta take my tits out. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. It was that was not part of the. Uh, I didn't do it. It wasn't on that was camera. Not part of. So the... that means I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is. Let's just get through this. Come on. <laughs> they blow my ear. 
Nope. Spanks. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, a big hug. Damn it. Tell me a secret. Wait, wait, wait. All right. I'm ready to be done with this yep. game. All right. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time. I'm not okay. I'm not wasting my time. Let's just play something else. <laughs> it's your game. <sighs> All right, go go go. We're almost. We're like okay. 80 percent. Oh, slow make out. I definitely want to do that. Oh, I like the spanks too. We'll do that too. Tell me a secret. Okay. It was the, nope. It was this one. <laughs> well, I'm Damn disheveled. Nope. Okay. What was that? What was that one? You got to show me. Uh, nibble on my ear, and then nibble on my ear. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, we have headphones on. <laughs> you're such a good, you're such a good sport. <laughs> okay. All right. We did it. All right. Next, next, next. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through this. Oh, yeah. I want to do the slow make out. Yeah, oh. Tell me a secret. All right. Okay. My bad. Terrible at this game. I suck at this game, too. Yes. Yes. We're almost there. We're almost done. All right. I got All a 50-50 right. chance of being all right. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give or get All right. Spanks. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, oh okay. You're, you're getting better at that. Okay. Last one. Tell me a secret. <laughs> I don't really have any secrets. Do you have secrets? You don't seem like a person that would keep secrets. Not really. I really don't. I try to be an oh, open book. That's my gift and my curse. You what? That's my gift and my curse. I yeah. just, I'm an open book. Any questions, comments, concerns, just <laughs> ask away. Slide in them DMs kind of the and same. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way too. Uh, I'm out here. I'm doing my thing. Okay, I, I, I keep forgetting that we're on Instagram Live. <laughs> but you know what? They can eavesdrop on the podcasting, a.k.a. making out. This sex game's a lot of fun, isn't it? Honestly, I was a little concerned. I was like, man, it's going to be boring. That boring. Was actually, that was actually pretty good. Are you out of your mind? That was my first thought. It was be boring. That was PG thirteen. That was really good though. That was good. I like, know for real. Okay, so we're gonna go get the swing. Okay. Yes. And we're gonna measure it up, make sure everything uh, works out, and we're gonna have a good time. Let's do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not listen. I'm not gonna do an intro or an outro to the show. We're just gonna end um, because I don't fucking feel like it because I really want to get laid right now. So uh, Same. thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back on the show. It's so good to have you back. And my Cravers love you. And um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. No, appreciate everyone with the love. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, You're you're such a gem. I'm loving this show. Like, for real. Like, honestly. (laughs) like. (laughs) <laughs> I'll do it again. We'll do a live one. We'll set up a time date and just do a live okay. show or we can do another recording or you tell me. All right. I'm down. I, appreci- I, love I appreciate that about the you. love. Yeah. And, and I love how you're I'm like, hey, will you do this, this and this? And you're like, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the next episode, I don't know what's going to happen. I might be um, having my friend. His He goes by Viking on TikTok. <sighs> Damn. I'm jealous. I like that name. I'm he's, jealous of that. <laughs> he's son of a bitch. Super cool. But he. <laughs> talks a lot about his experience with being in prison uh, in the Florida prison system and stuff and he wants to talk to me about what sex is life oh, I can't even... <laughs> sex is life They're, he's not wrong though he's not wrong Listen, you know what I'm delirious right now I really all I have a one track mind I want to get in that sling um, but he's going to talk about what did I say sex, sex is life but sex, I assume you mean sex no. after hmm. you know being locked up and uh, I'm looking forward to that. So maybe it'll be Viking on the show or I don't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm not planning anything. I'm not. I'm also not going to contribute any more to this episode because I really want to go get laid right now. So, Same. okay. All right. <laughs>